This morning, you will learn about rational exponent. You will learn how to write from exponential into radical expression. Okay, let's have x raised to two-thirds. So, x here is the base. And two-third is the exponent in a form of a fraction. And since we want to write this from exponential to radical, from the word radical, we will be needing the radical sign. So your base here becomes now the radicand of your radical sign. Your exponent two-thirds, the numerator two, becomes the exponent of the radicand. And the denominator 3 becomes the index of your radical expression. Okay, let's have the first example. 2 raised to 2 fifth. So our exponent is 2 fifth. So therefore, our index there is fifth root. The base is 2, so therefore, radicand is 2. So fifth root of 2. The numerator, which is 2, becomes now the exponent of our radicand 2 also. So we have there fifth root of simplify 2 square that is equivalent to 4. So we have there fifth root of 4 for number 1. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. 8 raised to 2 thirds. Again, so we have here index 3 or cube root of 8 raised to the power of 2. So let's simplify 8 squared. So we have cube root of 64 and cube root of 64 it can still be simplified as 4 now i would like to show also another way of writing an exponent in our radicand so again we have there cube root of 8 you could raise everything actually to the power of our exponent which is 2 so cube root of 8 that is 2 copy exponent 2 2 squared is equal to 4. So you're going to have the same answer regardless of the process that you are going to have. Okay, now let's have the third example. 8 raised to 2 thirds multiplied to 27 raised to 4 over 3. So we are going to have there cube root of 8 raised to the power of 2 multiplied to cube root of 27 raised to the power of 4. So cube root of 8, simplify it, that would give us 2. We copy exponent 2, multiply 2. Cube root of 27, that is 3, copy 4, or exponent 4. Q, uh, 2 squared, that is 4. 3 raised to 4, that is 81. And 4 times 81, that is 324. Okay, let's have the fourth example. So, 8 raised to 1 third plus 16 raised to the power of 1 half. So, again, on the first term, we have cube root of 8 plus square root of 16. Cube root of 8, that is 2. Square root of 16, that is plus 4. And 2 plus 4, it's 6. Okay, now this time, let's rewrite from radical expression into exponential expression. Okay, so we have here, the base now is equal to x. And our exponent, that is 5 over 3. Second example, our base is equal to 4. And our exponent, this time, is equivalent to 1 over 5. Okay, third example, fourth root of x cubed. So our base here is equal to x and our exponent is 3 over 4. Fourth example, so cube root of 2x. So our base this time is equivalent to 2x and our exponent is 1 over 3. So that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about rational exponents. Thank you.